going on, the friends? My name is MJD8, and welcome back to another episode of Master Tech of Archives Rain Code for the Nintendo Switch. Well, right off the last time, we uh, met up with Fabuki, who was working at the cafe over in Ginma District. Um, she's the only surviving detective that we have found so far. Everybody else is missing, but she has reluctantly decided to help us on the task that we are working on for the resistance but as far as i know i'm aware of she doesn't really know about the resistance uh so let's go ahead and continue we have one more camera to install out of the four cameras so let's go ahead and, and go over to the last location i could just take the bus over there because i think it would be faster but oh well i'm feeling adventurous as usual and actually, I should have went to the other side. Oh, I like. know. This is the fossil of a frog from a bygone age. I don't think that's correct. That That is 100% incorrect. Alright, here we go. Going this way to Aetheria Academy. That's where we need to place the last camera. Okay, so here we are in the academy, and I guess we gotta place it here? It will not be possible to return here for some time in Aetheria Academy again? Sure, I guess. That should do it. Servan, I finished setting up the surveillance camera. The video quality checks out. <laughs> Seems we're all good here. We got all four cameras up and running now. I don't see peacekeepers patrolling the area, and it looks like no one saw you. Great work handling this mission so quickly. <laughs> Detectives sure are reliable. I hope the cameras help you expose peacekeeper corruption. That's right. I believe this is the first step toward peace. All that's left is to report back to Shachi. I'm sure he has other stuff to talk about, so do you mind telling him? The frequency for Shachi's transceiver is 37.564. Thanks! What's the units in 37.564? Frequency... Oh, I guess I can turn the dial here. This errand boy quest was a pain, but it'll be worth it if you get info about Amaterasu. I'm glad there wasn't any conflict involved. I was lucky to find Fubuki, too. Let's finish up and get back to searching for Chief Yako and the others. Shachi's frequency is 37.564. Huh? Five minutes until detonation? What is this? Wait, don't tell me. Is that thing gonna explode? That's a countdown, right? It, it'll explode? It's near the telephone booth in Marnamon District. That's where we set up the first security camera. What is the matter, Yuma? You look like you just pressed a bomb's detonation button. Wait, Master, you pressed it? No, I didn't do anything. Anyway, let's go check it out. Maybe this is some sort of prank. Is there a way to turn it off? Fubuki, we're heading to Marunomon District. We need to hurry. All right, I do not understand, but it sounds like an adventure. Oh my god, are you serious? Where did it take place? I think it was the phone booth. I know where that is, so follow me. Did the camera actually have bombs in them? And we set a bomb off? Oh my god. Was it a terrorist attack? Oh god. Dude, there are people looking at it. The phone booth's been blown away. Was that the explosion earlier? A public phone exploded? Maybe the batteries were overcharged. 
from the looks of it, the silver lining is no one's been injured in the explosion. There's something on the transceiver. What you heard wasn't some mere explosion. It is the call to rebellion. The smoke you see isn't just the smoldering ash of a stamped out flame. It is the signal for revolution. What? This message... Servan, can you hear me? Servan? Shachi, please answer me! What you're about to hear echo across Khan I Ward is the Song of Revolution. Revolution inevitably requires sacrifice. Beloved citizens falling as casualties cannot be avoided. Who is this talking? However, death comes equally to us all. Equality is revolution. That being said, a revolution must also be fair. Thus, since you were the one to plant the bombs, I will also give you a chance to stop them from exploding. The one who planted the bombs? Me? So Yuma, you were not setting up surveillance cameras. You were planting bombs? Uh, no! You have set four bombs around Kanai Ward. One of them just detonated. The first bomb was a demonstration, so the damage was minimal. But now you've seen this message is no joke. The bombs are real. <sighs> this message is so long. I'm bored. I'll leave the rest to you, Master. The bombs will detonate in the order you set them up. You are the only one who can disarm them. Here's how to do so. When it's on, to move the transceiver close to the bomb and cut the detonation circuit. However, to cut a detonation circuit, you must perfectly execute the steps as displayed on the transceiver screen. You have 60 minutes to act. Whether to disarm the bombs or not is up to you. Once the timer reaches zero, this transceiver will explode along with the bombs. Meaning, you cannot avoid death, even if you ignore the people and try to flee. There is no escaping the revolution. You decide the future of Khan I Ward. I wish you luck. Why? Why me? <laughs> you really get dragged into trouble all the time! This isn't funny! The countdown's already started! If I don't disarm the bombs, then I'll blow up with this watch! Then just take it off! Oh, right! No good, it won't come off! What's going on? Is it locked? Maybe it explodes if you force it off. You should have mentioned that earlier! Breaking news from the Amaterasu Corporation Peacekeepers. Hello, Ta, my slaves of Kanai Lord! Are you loving your happy, subservient life? It's your Peacekeeper Counterterrorism Squad Leader, Ian Hall! trick is fortune telling. Here it goes! <clears throat> Bad luck today for anyone with a Baron Icy's hair constellation sign. Some jealous Baldi is gonna kill you. By the way, the guy behind me is Dominic. As you can see, he's an absolute intellectual. Come on and say hi, Slowpoke! Oh. Thought that. This guy looks like Cyborg. Anyway, did you know there was an explosion in Marnamon District? How many died? None? Well, not like I care. The resistance caused the explosion in Doya District. The peacekeepers received their proclamation loud and clear. Oh no, the peacekeepers know about it! Look here, read it, Nugget. 
In summary, that's all there is. We set up this bomb as an act of terror. But thanks to some leaks, we've already identified the perpetrator. Ta-da! Here he is. His name is Yuma Coco Head. Oh, he sure looks like a terrorist, all right? Wait, what? As you know, Kanai Board is a town of justice. Terrorists have no human rights here. Everyone, kill him on sight. <laughs> the peacekeeper say it's A-OK. -okay. Hey, you underhanded, rotten, bottom-feeding terrorist bomber trash. You listening? You've got nowhere to run. OK? OK. Come on, do something, you nitwit. Is this a joke? Why am I... Hey, I think I recognize that face. Wait, I'm not a terrorist. I've been set up. A set up? So your client tricked you? That's all I can think of, since she said there was a leak. So Shachi and the Resistance tricked me? They took advantage of me? He spoke so passionately about peace. Was it all a lie? You won't fight them with violence. It would only lead to more lives lost. We're gonna take them down the right way. The Resistance are not terrorists. How could this be the right way? You were supposed to reject violence! They were pretty violent from the moment you were taken to their hideout. Well, well It's fine to be all sentimental or whatever, but you should take a look around. Huh. Did they already notice me? The explosion <laughs> countdown is still ticking away. There's no time to stand around and think. At this rate, you're gonna end up dying as a terrorist. I don't want that. We have to go disarm those bombs. Oh, but first, there's still time until the next explosion. We should visit the Resistance's hideout. Your boom killing them is payback for tricking you, right? Of course not. I need to talk to Shachi and find out the truth. Master, you still believe these people can be reasoned with? I... Yuma, is something the matter? Are you sure we should not be in a hurry? Fubuki, please hear me out. Even if the next bomb is disarmed, there are two more. Right now we have a grace period of 60 minutes, but we don't know if the same will be true of the rest. That's why we need to stop this whole plot while there's still even a little bit of extra time remaining. So you have a plan then? I'm going to see the client. If the client really is behind this, then I have to try and convince them to stop. Doubt it'll go so smoothly. Anyway, we have to act now. We can think about it later. Very well. Danger always accompanies adventure. I will stay by your side. After all, we are the last survivors, partner. Thank you. Also, I still believe everyone is alive. The Resistance hideout was in Doya District. Don't come crying to me if this all goes south. I doubt it's I worth talking to any shot you people. Understand. This ridiculous plan has to be stopped. Master, you are so naive. You were set up. I find it hard to believe. I mean, I don't I'm know. Those sure guys are pretty sus. Reasons. This is why people keep taking advantage of you. What a ruckus. Oh my god, this guy's not sussing me out. Crap, I'm going the wrong way. It's not like I wanted to be a wanted criminal. What the heck is going on here? Okay, I think I have to... Oh wait, actually, I need to go underground. 
Because it's a Doya underground. Like this is the essence of adventure. I am all fired up, Yuma. That's great really? to know. I'm terrified about being discovered. Man, now the whole city knows that I'm a freaking terrorist. How scary is that feeling? Wait, what? Wait a minute. Oh, okay, here we go. Somehow, I still don't know my way around these parts. Master, it looks like that resistance woman hates your guts. Be careful, or you'll become full of lead. <laughs> That's a scary thing to say. Okay, I'm back in Doya District. Did people of Doya find me out? Oh, wow. These must be the ruins of an ancient civilization. Not really. Most people would just call Doya District the slums. Oh, I see. Apologies for my ignorance. I suppose this is a lifestyle where you stay in harmony with nature. Wait, Fubuki. Those are peacekeepers. Huh? The peacekeepers are on the move after that explosion. The client's hideout is up ahead. We need to move carefully so they don't see us. But why did the resistance issue a declaration anyway? They would have known this was going to happen. Surrounded us. Fubuki, was that your forte? It feels like time was reversed. Hold on, it wasn't just a feeling. Time really was turned back. Huh? You noticed? But I should be the only one who can detect the reversal of time. Yuma, are you also the Clockford family bloodline? Are you my long lost brother? <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm not. But I do have the ability to share another Master Detective's forte. Specifically, when we hold hands. Oh, right! I was holding your hand back then. So you can share fortes? I see. It appears my maiden secret has been exposed by you, Yuma. It is true. I can reverse time. That being said, the amount of time I can reverse is limited. Also, the amount I reverse is proportional to my fatigue. Even now, I feel... Are you alright? Yes, I am fine. There's no need to worry. I can still move. Interesting. I get now how this airheaded sheltered skink got into the WDO so effortlessly. Turning back time is an insanely powerful ability! It far surpasses human limitations! Oh, if there are people with abilities like this, I'm gonna fade into the background! 
Your forte is pretty useful for avoiding peacekeepers. So, is it okay if we continue to hold hands for now? Just in case. By holding hands and receiving permission to share your ability, I can turn back time too. You can do that? After all the training I had to do, I knew you were no ordinary person, Yuma. But, do we really have to hold hands? I have never held hands with a man before. Oh man, I, it's not like that. My ability won't work properly otherwise. I see. I understand. In that case... <sighs> What's wrong, Master? When our hands met, I sensed Fubuki's fatigue. I guess turning back time is extremely straining. Even if the power is amazing, we can't continue to rely on it. Keep moving carefully so you don't get caught by the peacekeepers. Yeah, let's head to the hideout. This way! Fubuki, now! Right, understood. We have been spotted! We better hide somewhere. This one? Let's hide here! Where did they go? It looks like they're gone. Let's go while we can. Right. We finally made it. This is the Resistance hideout. Fubuki, are you alright? Yes. Though... I am a bit tired, and my mind is a little hazy. You should hide somewhere and rest. It might be dangerous inside the building, so I'll go in alone. But... I am your only surviving partner. No, please, save your strength. I'll ask for your help when I need it. Also, everyone is alive, I'm sure of it. If you insist. Very well. I will stay put and rest. Master, you're so kind. You never treat me like that! I want to be treated kindly too! There's no time, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> 